On July 27, 2024, just three days earlier, a chilling discovery sent shockwaves through the digital world. WhatsApp, the messaging app used by billions, was found to have a vulnerability that could allow hackers to execute malicious code on your device. But how and are you at risk? Let's find out. If you value your privacy and the security of your personal information, you need to watch this video till the end. We're about to uncover a vulnerability in WhatsApp that could put your entire digital life at risk. So let's get started. On July 27, 2024, when security researchers stumbled upon a startling revelation, the latest version of WhatsApp for Windows had a critical security flaw that could allow attackers to execute malicious code on a victim's computer without raising any red flags. Now, you might be thinking, but I use WhatsApp on my phone, so I'm safe, right? Well, not exactly. This vulnerability affects millions of users who use WhatsApp on their Windows computers. Let's break down what's happening here. Normally, when you receive a file through WhatsApp, the app has built-in safeguards to protect you from potentially harmful files. If someone sends you an executable file, like a .exe, WhatsApp will show you a warning. This file may harm your computer. Are you sure you want to run it? This gives you a chance to think twice before opening something potentially dangerous. But here's where things get scary. The researchers discovered that WhatsApp wasn't blocking two specific types of files, Python scripts, .pyz and .pyzw, and PHP files. Now, you might be wondering, what's the big deal about Python and PHP files? Well, these aren't just ordinary documents. They're scripts that can run code on your computer. Imagine this scenario. You're chatting with a friend on WhatsApp, and they send you what looks like a funny video. You click on it, expecting to see a cute cat doing something hilarious, but instead, without any warning, a script starts running on your computer. This script could do anything from stealing your personal data to installing malware that takes control of your device. The most alarming part is that WhatsApp doesn't warn you when you open these files. It just lets them run, assuming they're harmless. This is a massive oversight that could put countless users at risk. Now, you might be thinking that you don't have Python installed on your computer, which means you are safe. Well, that's partially true. For this vulnerability to work, Python needs to be installed on the victim's computer. This might limit the potential targets to software developers, researchers, and power users who are more likely to have Python on their machines. But even if you're not a coder, you might have Python installed without realizing it. Many applications bundle Python with their software, so you could be vulnerable without even knowing it. Now, let's dive deeper into how this vulnerability works. When you receive a file through WhatsApp, the app checks its file extension against a list of potentially dangerous file types. If it matches, WhatsApp shows you a warning. But here's where things went wrong. The developers made a simple typo in their code. They meant to block files with extension .pyzw, which is a Python script. But instead, they accidentally wrote .pywz. It's a tiny mistake, just two letters swapped. But in the world of cybersecurity, that's all it takes to create a massive vulnerability. Because of this typo, WhatsApp didn't recognize .pyzw files as potentially dangerous. So when you receive one, there is no warning. If you click on it, thinking it's harmless document or media file, your computer will run it as a Python script. But it gets even more sinister. Cyber criminals have found a way to disguise these Python scripts as video files. They use a technique involving a Telegram bot to send the file with a mime type of video slash mp4. This means that when you receive it in WhatsApp, it works just like a normal video. There is even a thumbnail image, making it more convincing. Imagine receiving what looks like a funny video from a friend. You click on it, expecting to watch something entertaining, but instead, you've just executed a malicious Python script on your computer, and you had no idea it was happening. This isn't just a theoretical problem. Security researchers have already created proof-of-concept exploits, demonstrating how this vulnerability can be used to open a command prompt on a victim's computer. From there, an attacker could potentially run any commands they want, giving them significant control over your system. But WhatsApp isn't the only messaging app that's faced this kind of issue. 
In fact, this vulnerability is eerily similar to one that affected Telegram, another popular messaging app, just a few months earlier in April 2024. In early April, rumors started circulating on social media and hacking forums about a potential zero-click vulnerability in Telegram's Windows app. A zero-click vulnerability is particularly dangerous because it doesn't require any action from the victim. Just receiving a message could be enough to compromise your device. Initially, Telegram dismissed these claims as a hoax, but as we've seen time and time again in the world of cybersecurity, where there is smoke, there is often fire. Just a day after Telegram's denial, a proof-of-concept exploit emerged on a hack and forum. This exploit demonstrated how attackers could send python.pyzw files through Telegram that would bypass the app's security warnings and automatically execute when clicked. The root cause was once again a simple typo in Telegram's source code. The developers had intended to block .pyzw files, recognizing them as potentially dangerous, but they accidentally wrote pywz instead of pyzw in their list of blocked file types. This tiny error meant that when users received .pyzw files, Telegram didn't flag them as risky. If the user had Python installed and clicked on the file, it would run without any warning. The similarities between the Telegram and WhatsApp vulnerabilities are striking. Both stemmed from simple typos in the code, both involve Python scripts, and both could potentially allow attackers to execute malicious code on a victim's device. But there is a key difference in how these two companies responded to the discovery of these vulnerabilities. When confronted with evidence of the flaw, Telegram quickly acknowledged the issue and implemented a fix. They corrected the typo in their code and added additional safeguards to prevent similar issues in the future. WhatsApp's response, on the other hand, has been more concerning. When security researcher Sumya G. Dust reported the vulnerability to Meta, WhatsApp's parent company on June 3, 2024, the company's initial response was dismissive. They claimed the issue had already been reported by another researcher and closed the case as not applicable. This response is troubling for several reasons. First, it suggests that WhatsApp was aware of the vulnerability but hadn't taken steps to fix it. Second, it shows a concerning lack of urgency in addressing a potentially serious security flaw. When pressed for clarification, a WhatsApp spokesperson provided a statement that further raised eyebrows in the cybersecurity community. They said, we have read what the researcher has proposed and appreciate their submission. Malware can take many different forms, including through downloadable files meant to trick a user. It's why we warn users to never click on or open a file from somebody they don't know, regardless of how they received it, whether over WhatsApp or any other app. While this advice is generally sound, it misses the point of the vulnerability. The issue isn't just about users downloading files from strangers, it's about a flaw in WhatsApp security measures that could allow malicious files to slip through undetected, even when sent by trusted contacts. Moreover, the spokesperson's statement fails to address the core of the problem, that WhatsApp's Windows client was allowing certain types of potentially dangerous files to execute without any warning. This is about a technical flaw in the application itself. The implications of this vulnerability are far-reaching. While it might seem that only a small subset of users, those with Python installed on their Windows machines, are at risk, the potential for harm is significant. WhatsApp is one of the most popular messaging apps in the world, with billions of users. Even if only a small percentage of these users are vulnerable, that still represents a large number of potential targets. Additionally, people tend to trust messages and files sent through WhatsApp, especially from contacts they know. This trust could be exploited by attackers who manage to compromise someone's account. While the vulnerability might not be suitable for large-scale attacks, it could be very effective for targeted attacks on specific individuals or organizations. Once an attacker can execute code on a victim's machine, they might be able to exploit other vulnerabilities to gain more control over the system. In today's interconnected world, our digital lives are increasingly centered around messaging apps like WhatsApp. We use them not just for casual conversations, but for sharing sensitive information, conducting business, and even accessing financial services. This vulnerability underscores a critical point. No app, no matter how popular or seemingly secure, is immune to flaws. 
WhatsApp's current stance on the reported flaw is concerning. By not addressing this issue properly, Meta leaves millions of users vulnerable to potential attacks. It's crucial for companies to prioritize user security and respond swiftly to identified threats. For users, staying informed and vigilant is key. Regularly updating apps, being cautious with media files, and using robust security measures can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to such exploits. Have you ever encountered suspicious messages or experienced a security breach on WhatsApp or Telegram? Share your experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.